When I think about sea level rise, I look at it as something that's not government's um, job to, to do. It's business, it's industry, it's people, it's commu whole community. And I think when you look at something this big and you look at something that we'll call, say, a looming threat, that if we come together as a whole community and all parts of the community come together, we will overcome this like we have most every other threat that has come to us in the past. South Florida is one of the most vulnerable places on earth when it comes to sea level rise. Over the past five years, community leaders have taken on the task of dealing with this issue on the state and local level and to educate the public of its urgency. Keep in mind, flooding uh, occurs now uh, on sunny days. Certainly on Miami Beach, Alton Road is a famous high tide, uh, king tide uh, flooding. Uh, but we're seeing flooding occur as far west as Sweetwater because it is, this is not an issue that just affects uh, rich coastal communities. It affects the entire county across all the way to the Everglades because we're, we're, we are all on a very high uh, uh, table of water, high meaning it's close to the surface. There's a whole, whole South Florida effort that needs to work together on this and come up with a plan of how we make life bearable and, and sustainable down here for the next 50, 100 years, whatever that, that horizon is. Miami-Dade's Water and Sewer Department acknowledges that some of its infrastructures are 50, 60, even 70 years old. We constantly do repairs and updates to our infrastructure. We have an ongoing R&R uh, &R program with our, our, uh, all of our infrastructure for water and sewer. Sea level rise is a gradual thing. It's something that we can plan for. It's something that we can understand and, and engineer and, and mitigate for that. Where it comes the emergency is when you have sea level rise and then you have storm events on top of sea level rise. South Florida state authorities, community leaders, and sea level rise activists have taken the initiative to keep people prepared, teach them how to respond during an emergency, and formulate a recovery plan in case of an emergency. We have a really state-of-the-art emergency program for a city. Um, we have a comprehensive all-hazards program that works out of, we have a city warning point, we have a duty officer, we have an emergency operations center, and we have an, a 911 communication center. All of these systems work together to handle daily emergencies, but it's also designed to expand and collapse to meet whatever the need is, whether it be a hurricane, whether it be a, a sea level rise issue, a flooding issue, it can at a moment's notice we can expand and contract our team as well of our facility as well as our facilities to both work in here or remotely depending upon what the emergency is. The Miami-Dade Sea Level Rise Task Force was a voluntary seven-member panel led by Harvey Rubin that worked for over a year to come up with ways to prepare the county for the expected rise in sea level due to global warming. It dealt uh, exclusively with the issue of sea level rise, didn't get into tropical uh, uh, extreme weather events or any of the other uh, impacts of climate change. And the benefit of doing that is when you're talking about sea level rise, that's a measurable, trackable reality. So you don't have to get into whether or not uh, uh, human activity is playing a role and it really doesn't matter what the cause of it is, it is happening. Uh, Dade, Broward, Monroe, and Palm Beach counties have formed a compact. So all of these agencies and bodies uh, are part of the uh, overarching structure that uh, any plan has to be developed within and any plan has to be implemented th throughout. Maybe 100 years from now, maybe 200 years from now, if sea level continues rising the way we think it is, is there will be areas down here in, in South Florida that will be uninhabitable and, and we will have to start thinking about how we uh, safely and, and realistically start moving people away from coastal areas. Um, but that's something that we can plan for. And with sea level rise is, I think what's important for people to understand is that it's a gradual event. It's something that we can plan for. With an eye on the inevitable future, 
community leaders, engineers, and emergency management experts are working daily to keep South Florida habitable as the sea slowly rises.